guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my Panda palette update. I am going to go through the progress that I have in the past month and if you haven't seen my, I don't know if it's my last video or two videos back, some recent videos, if you hear the noise next to me, we recently got a puppy so she's in next to me in her crate so that might make a little bit of noise but I need to have her here when I film uh, so that's, if you hear anything that's what it is. But I'm going to go through the progress that I have on this palette and yeah, just talk you through what I've used in the past month. So before I put up the picture of where I was last month, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family, but let's jump into the video. So this right here is where I was last month, and as you can see, I had some really good progress already. Um, but I'm gonna just pop up straight away the picture of where I am now. So this is what my palette looks like now. I have a few pan expansions, I have a bit of progress, but let me talk through each shade in order. So the first shade in the palette is Tempera and I had already used that up in the last update so that one is gone. So let's move on to the next shade which is Golden Ochre and this one I have used quite a lot in the past month. I used this 17 times which is quite decent. I'm really really happy with that and I think the pan has expanded quite a lot. Um, you will be able to tell that in the pictures. I actually haven't seen the comparisons yet but I think it has grown uh, quite decently. I think this one will be... Probably the next one to go, if not Primavera, as soon as I start working on that. Um, but we'll see what happens first. Uh, but this one I really, really love. I love this shade as like a first transition. I like it to blend out other shades. And yeah, it's just a really useful shade to have, so that's why I use it so regularly. Then next to that we have the shade Vermeer, and that was actually the first shade I finished up in the palette, so that has been gone now for a while. Uh, so let's skip over that one. Then next to that shade we have the shade One Fresco, which is kind of like a mauve tone shade in the palette and in the past month I reached for this five times so still a little bit of use not super high but I was expecting not to have a super high use on this because I've been focusing on it quite a lot in the past couple of months but I still kept like a decent amount of uses and um, this month as well which I'm happy with because I didn't even use this less than that because this just isn't my absolute favorite shade um yeah I just prefer I don't know it just makes me look a bit it just doesn't really look completely right on my skin tone I guess um, and that's why but um, yeah I still use it decent so I'm happy with that progress next up to that we have two shades that I didn't use again this month and that is antique bronze and love letter I'm just focusing on different things and these two are a bit neglected to be honest but hopefully I can get some more progress on these in the next couple of months maybe I should even focus on antique bronze next month that could be one of my goals but I will go through all of those at the end so we'll see what I decide to do then for the last shadow on the top row we had the shade Cypress Umber and this shade I used six times which is pretty good I was hoping to use this more this month that was one of the shades I wanted to focus on not necessarily to like use every single day but just remembering to use more because I used it quite a lot in the first month I used it eight times and then after that I used it two times and then four times so I just wanted to step up my usage goal so six I'm pretty happy with but I want to continue focusing on this shade because since it is such a deep shade and um, this will take a while to finish uh, and yeah I just want to remember to use it every single month so that is the top row let's move on to the second row and the first shade we have is raw sienna which is one that i haven't used either because i have been focusing on the shade next to it which i have done for the last couple of months and that is the shade burnt orange and i have pretty good pan on this one now as well i used this one 17 times in the past month which is quite a lot and yeah it's definitely getting lower not just like the pan but i don't know if you can see but you can probably see the side pan there that it's getting lower that way as well so I'm definitely using this one and hopefully I can have really good expansion in this one next month as well. It's just one that I can easily reach for and the reason why I'm reaching for this one now and not Borossiana is because I use Golden Ochre and Burnt Orange together and I feel like these two mixed together kind of make a similar tone to this one so I just feel like it's, I don't know, it's a bit more contrast when I use these two together and I feel like once I use Golden Ochre up I will focus more on raw sienna because that has a bit more of that yellowy undertone that I get from golden ochre. But yeah, I'm really happy with the products that I have on burnt orange. Next to that we have Primavera, which is a shade that I didn't use in the past month. Uh, this is one that I want to start using as like a, in a kind of highlight or 
a face highlight even in the summer months when I have a bit more of a tan. But I don't think I'm going to have any issues at all finishing this shade. Uh, I just need to kind of start focusing on it um, when I do. And then it's going to be gone pretty quickly. Uh, I had similar progress to this one as I did in uh, Vermeer. And I finished with Vermeer in two months time. So I think remember it's going to be very similar like I said once I focus on that shade. The next shade is Red Ochre which is actually one of the focus shades that I have this month. I originally wanted to hit pan on this eyeshadow but as you can see I was not able to do that. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah this one wasn't very quiet so I had to bring her into the video. <laughs> she yeah she just made too much uh, noise next to me so I had to take her out but so she's in my lap now if I seem a bit distracted but yeah she was just <laughs> getting too excited in her crates. So like I said, this next shade was Red Ochre, which is one of the shades that I wanted to hit pan on in the past month. Because this one and Love Letter are the only two shades that I have left to hit pan on in the palette. And uh, unfortunately, as you can see, I wasn't able to do that. I have a really, really big dip, as you can see in this uh, eyeshadow, but unfortunately I wasn't able to hit my goal on it. Um, I am wearing this all over my lids today as a base, and then I put a shimmer on the top, and I used it like that a couple times. But this one is just harder pressed than a couple other shades and more pink Pigmented. For example, when I used Venetian Red, um, that one went super quickly because it was very, very powdery and the shadow was a bit kind of, I don't know, it was a bit... <laughs> and the shadow itself was a bit patchy, so I had to build it up quite a lot. But I definitely think I'll be able to hit pan on uh, Red Ochre by next month, so that is going to be a goal that is rolling over. And if I haven't said, I used Red Ochre 15 times in the past month. Next to that we have the shade Venetian Red, which is a shade that I have been working on quite a lot this year because I just want to move it out because it is very, very similar to Love Letter and I just want to move one of them out as soon as possible. This one I used seven times in the past month, which is pretty consistent with previous months. I used it six times the month before and then ten times the month before that. So yeah, I'm happy with that progress and if I can continue reaching for it in the next month, that would be good. But it's no longer like my main focus. Then next up we have the shade Warm Taupe, which is one of my most used uh, shades every month. I use this in my eyebrows and that's also how I have it on today. Um, I used it 30 times in the past month and you can see that hopefully I have expanded the pan a little bit. Um, I have been trying to like, I don't know, wear it down a bit more evenly and starting to expand in the pan. But since I only use it in my eyebrows uh, mainly, I think I have used it a handful of times this year uh, in my crease. But um, since I have mainly used it in my eyebrows, uh, the pan is obviously very small still because I use a very kind of tiny brush and a very small amount each time I use it. But I have used it 30 times in the past month. Then the final shade in the palette is Realgar, which is a shade that I haven't used in the past month. I haven't really focused on this at all. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I used it maybe once or twice in the, in the year. But this is a shade that I definitely would use more in summer and autumn and that's why I haven't used it yet. But I think, maybe not in May, but definitely from June, I will try to focus on this one more. So that is where I am with my... Oh, I did use it at once. Actually, I used to look at my nose and I did actually use this one once. I completely forgot, but I used it once, which is quite um, the theme because I have used it once both this month, previous month and the month before that. So and that is Real Girl and that is the last shade in the palette. So that is where I am. So uh, to sum up... My goals for next month, I am definitely going to try to hit pan on Red Ochre. I'm going to continue focusing on um, Cypress Umber because I just really want to make some good progress on that one. What else do I want to do? I want to, I don't know, it's, it's hard to pick like goals now because I don't... I have pan on basically all the shades apart from like I said Red Ochre and Love Letter. And I already wanted pan on Red Ochre and Love Letter I don't want to focus on until I have a bit more progress on Nation Red. So maybe I should put a goal actually to start using, oh like I said, Antique Bronze. I want to use Antique Bronze and Realgar a bit more because I haven't really used those shades that much. Uh, so that is going to be my goal, to hit pad of Red Ochre and then add in Antique Bronze, Realgar and Cypress Umbra as like more focused shades. So that is where I am with my Panda palette update and I'm actually going to wrap up this video because our puppy is going crazy in the background. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I really hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.